Hey, Air Signs, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your Friday love reading. I do apologize for it being late in the day. I've been having the worst computer issues known to man, so hopefully I can get this out. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> we will start with Gemini. First three cards out are past, present, future. Bottom of the deck is your shared energy as well as your um, long-term outcome. All right, your first card out is the King of Cups. Your next card out is the Ten of Wands in reverse. Oh, way too many. And I almost got to keep them. They're all major arcana. All right, bottom of the deck and uh, shared energy is the Queen of Swords. Clarified with the Empress in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. Your long-term outcome is the Four of Swords. Beautiful energy. Beautiful. Um, healing. Healing in the long term. Amazing. So, your uh, bottom of the deck and shared energy. Cutting yourself away from the bullshit. Getting away from everybody and everything that is not for your greatest good. That does not serve um, for your uh, potential in, in any relationship, in any situation. You are just done with it. Um, you're taking your memories, your good memories with you, leaving the hurt behind and moving forward and away from a situation that um, just it just couldn't get off the ground. This uh, You'd really try to make this work. You try to uh, to create something with somebody and, and it's just not happening. You could have been a third party to somebody or this is uh, the mother to your children or your mother, um, some sort of female energy, but it is also known as the mistress card. So you're cutting yourself away from the bullshit. For the majority of you, I see that um, either you were the mistress or you had a mistress, um, and uh, that energy is being cutting, cut away and moving into a more stable, secure, independent, beautiful uh, individual who is nurturing their mind, body, and soul, who is investing in their future, who is investing in themselves, and really taking care of themselves, working out, eating better, meditating, um, investing in education, could be getting a different job. This person is just very sound and very well invested in themselves. They know their value. They know their worth. They're wearing those pinnacles with pride, and they are just have a cornucopia of uh, fruits around them. So um, cutting yourself away from a situation that uh, left you feeling, um, you know, like you were second place, um, really taking action, leaving this energy behind and embracing this beautiful um, energy of self-empowerment, whether you're male or female, um, really finding uh, it within you to, to move forward, to move on, and to pour all that love into yourself that you had been um, giving to somebody else without the return investment um, being made to you. So... In the past, you have the King of Cups. Um, so this is a lot of love, unconditional love, a lot of emotions. Um, there was a deep, passionate connection. Um, you could have been dealing with somebody that loved you a lot, but they didn't share with you how they felt. They, they have a hard time um, expressing their true feelings, especially if you were a third party to this King of Cups. Um, they really didn't express how they felt. This person was at a distance from you, even though you felt like they were your blessing. They were your, your um, ship that was coming in. Um, it started out great, and there was a lot of love, a lot of passion. Um, you could see this going places, but unfortunately... Um, you had to cut yourself away from that situation, possibly because they were connected to somebody else. And your current energy is just, it's getting too much for you to bear, getting too much for you to handle. Um, love is not supposed to be this hard. Bottom of your deck is a four of swords again. So um, with the, the ten of wands, you are almost to the end of your cycle. With this um, energy, you're about ready to lay those burdens down and head into that more single healing energy. But you're just having a little bit of a hard time um, cutting yourself away from this person because of the love and the intensity that you did share for this person at one point in time. Um, 
And now this person has put you in a pause, put you in a delay. There's no movement. There's no nothing. Um, and it's just getting too much to bear, too much to handle. So you're going to cut yourself away from that stagnant energy from this situation where you're just sitting around waiting. Um, and it's just, it's all you have is time to think. And the, the thinking is starting to weigh you down. So you are going to move forward away from that. You are going to, um, in the future energy, you have the Ten of Swords allowing this cycle to come to an end. Look at that. The Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Currently, you're feeling the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords, you're feeling very betrayed by this person, very hurt, stabbed in the back because they did put you in this pause, because they didn't walk away from a situation that they promised you they would and that they would come with you and that they would move with you and start this life with you, and they did it. And um, because of that, you feel very heartbroken, very betrayed, very like they just left you um, for dead. Um, and it's a very heavy energy, but this energy that you're coming into is so amazing. Let me get some clarifiers on this before I go any further. So much major arcana here, Gemini. All right. Okay. Let's get one more. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay. So right now, um, with your bottom of the deck, both of them, um, being the hermit clarifying the four of swords. So you are going to retreat. You are going to take time away. You are going to become that single energy. Um, go within and figure out what it is that um, is going on within you. And you are going to find healing in that time um, of retreat with the three of swords. Uh, healing from that heartache. And then when you emerge out of this hermit state, you are going to take that ace of swords with you and um, start walking your truth and owning it. And next card out, queen of cups. This is just amazing strength. Okay. So, Gemini. In your future energy, you have the Magician, the Star, and the Ace of Rods. So I'm going to start with the Star because um, following this Ten of Swords, you are going to move into a time of healing with that uh, Hermit as well. You're going to find the um, the secret to uh, nourishing your own self, uh, feeding your own soul, um, really putting in the work to... Um, you know, balance out those emotions to balance out how much you give and take in a relationship because Gemini, you give and give and give a lot. And a lot of times you don't get anything in return. Um, and after you find that healing, you are going to be able to use the tools that this relationship and relationships of the past have taught you to manifest a new relationship and having it really the keys to figuring out what to do to make this relationship work. And Somebody's going to come in causing that ignite, that just ignition of emotions and love and passion. It's going to be very exciting for you. Um, <coughs> so, <clears throat> clarifying the magician, you have the Prince of Wands. So, very quickly, you're going to be able to move from this. Well, let's start with the star. So, the chariot always rides into the star. The chariot leaves a situation single from the tower. They leave the tower single and move towards the star for healing. So um, you guys are moving away from this connection with this person that put you in a pause, put you in a delay at a distance from you. You're moving away from that. You are choosing you and you're going to um, begin to replenish your own mind, body, and soul and find a very healing energy in that um, with a lot of success in um figuring out your own emotions and where you want to go in life. This is also taking you to new places, opening new doors for you guys. Um, it's going to happen very fast with this Knight of Wands. You're going to hit this place of healing and bam, somebody's coming in for you very quickly because you're manifesting it. You're going to manifest your true blessings um, because like I said, you learned your karmic lessons and now you are able to receive this love. You're able to um, welcome in this person because you have... Um, healed. A lot of you are at this healing place right now. And this Knight of Wands is coming in so quickly, so passionate, um, bringing you in this soulmate, this new beginning, this new passion for life, this new passion for love, this new um, spark of creativity. The two of you could um, very uh, very easily work um, hand in hand on a soul's purpose, doing uh, what you love. 
But this is just a lot of love coming in for you that you deserve, Gemini. This person is going to give and take very um, equally. And just there's just going to be such a sexual and spiritual and emotional and mental connection between the two of you. It's going to be absolutely lit. So cut yourself away from the situation from somebody who you had a lot of love for and they had a lot of love for you as well that is at a distance from you that put you in that mistress position or um or if you're you know the third party if you're a guy either way if you're the third party it's time to move away from this connection because it's becoming very burdensome it's becoming very heavy and they're just putting you in this pause they're putting you in this weight in this time that you have been separated from them you have found a lot of healing which has been beautiful but and you're gonna realize that it's time to lay that burden down because there is just way too much heartache way too much heaviness um for this uh situation to go in a positive direction for the majority of you. So you are going to ride that chariot on out of that situation, embracing that nine of pentacles energy and finding that healing, finding that uh, spark within your own self that's going to attract that positive vibration into you. The higher your vibration, the higher vibration you will attract. And this is also my divine timing for soulmates. So you are going to move in the direction of a true soulmate for the majority of you. Um, you are manifesting this beautiful connection uh, very quickly with this soulmate energy that is just going to open all new doors for you. That's going to have this beautiful spark. Um, and it's going to bring you healing. And it's going to bring you a lot of love. Yeah, wow, judgments here as well. So... All right, Gemini, amazing reading for you this weekend. Uh, make sure you stay till the end as well, or I time, I'll time stamp it in the description box because I will be pulling oracle cards um, at the end for everybody as well. So, Libra, let's move on to you. All right, Libra, let's see what our Libras have for us for Friday and on into the weekend amazing energy for you um gemini if you haven't met that person um that soulmate connection in the last two months um you will in the next two weeks to two months be bringing um that energy in so uh continue to heal continue to nourish your mind body and soul because you are worth it continue to um, invest in yourself and it's only going to bring you beautiful beautiful connections in your future so congratulations for that group of you. All right, Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Libra, past, present, future. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you have the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Rods. Way too many cards. And the Knight of Rods. All right, your bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Page of Short Swords, clarified with the Four of Cups. And the Seven of Pentacles. Your long-term outlook is the Seven of Wands. <clears throat> and the Eight of Cups is underneath that. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay. So let's start with your shared energy. You're getting some information, uh, Libras, that you're not liking. Um, you could have found this online. It could have been sent from a message. Somebody is letting you know um, something. You're finding something out. It's coming in very quickly. Um, but... You're not the one that doesn't like it. The people around you are the ones that don't like it. This is bringing you in um, some motivation, some clarity to what you want to um, invest in. And it's also giving you, uh, it's giving you like, uh, where it's like proving to you why you invested in this. What is that word I'm looking for? It's like re... Oh my goodness, why did I just go blank? Um, reassuring you that you planted your seeds of intention in the right place. When lower uh, vibration people hear things that they don't know about or that they don't like, they really tend to um, be negative about it. It's exciting you, Libras, for the majority of you. You are being very patient. You are um, continuing to invest in yourself, but you are most importantly setting your intentions with the universe, and um, you're getting word about that. You, uh, with the Four of Cups, you've been very bored, very, um, very bored waiting for this person, very bored, um, 
while you've been patient, but your ace of cups is coming. Um, but you're no longer focusing on those three of cups of what you don't have. And you are now looking towards that ace of cups because you're getting some kind of word or you're getting some kind of message, some kind of information coming into you that is um, causing you to shift focus from the three of cups now to that uh, ace of cup that the universe is going to be handing you. In your past, you could have been dealing with addictions for a lot of you, too much drinking, um, drugging, partying, whatever you want to call it, um, that is of the past with the Four of Cups. You could have had some issues with relationships, Libra, um, because you kept thinking the grass was always greener because you were out uh, doing your own thing, kind of partying a lot. But you are now seeing with that Four of Cups in reverse, you're no longer thinking the grass is greener. Um, you're seeing that cup for what it's worth, um, and you're hoping and wishing and praying that that cup comes back to you. You're really missing this person, um, Libra, that you had something with in the past uh, that could have ended um, because of too many people in the relationship, but you've been really working hard to try to get back to this to this person. Um, in your current energy, you do have a new beginning. Um, in order for that new beginning, that new passion, that new spark, that creativity to come forward, you have to listen to your intuition and you're not. You're blocking it out. The Your inner voice is trying to tell you which direction to go in, that your inner voice is trying to show you these new doors that are opening, but you're focusing on the past. You have to listen to your intuition. You have to let the secrets go that from the past that are like haunting you, you have to let that all go. You have to listen to your inner voice because your inner voice is trying to lead you to beautiful, beautiful new beginnings, um, new creations, new ideas, um, new sexual encounter. This is like very spiritual if you would allow it, Libras. Um, in your future energy, you have the Knight of Rods. So... <clears throat> with the King of Swords. So, um, Libras, you're here, you're making decisions, you're taking action. You have made some choices, you've made some decisions, and now you're going to move forward very quickly. Um, however, you are coming in as a king. They could be a fire sign. They are a knight. They are, um, they are working their way up to you, though. Um, but for a lot of you, you're taking action and you're not even thinking about it anymore. You're just going. Um, the king tends to overthink everything. They overanalyze everything. Not anymore. You have made a choice. You are acting on it. You're not thinking twice. You are just going and moving forward. Um, you may have to defend your position to a lot of your friends, your family, because they don't understand what this journey that you are on is all about. But you do. You are in search of that two of cups. You're moving forward. You're moving away from an energy that was very emotionally draining on you, that you emotionally invested in for a long time, and you're going to have to defend your stance on that. You're going to have to defend why you're walking away from something, but you're really just trying to find peace. You're trying to find balance. You're trying to find that uh, equal um, place, your happy medium, and in that, you could possibly be walking away from the the parent of your child, or this is somebody that you feel was a soulmate in your life at one time, but sixes are action. Time to move now, as well as the eight of cups. Um, and you got to move forward and get over this broken heart with this person of the past, but you will be finding peace and balance and self-healing very soon for you, um, Libras. But uh, you have to listen to your intuition. You have to move forward. You have to let go of the past because you have beautiful things waiting for you, Libra. Um, you just have to um, be brave enough to let go of the shoreline if you're going to sail into these new blessings. Um, what do they say? You don't, you'll never know the beauty of the sea if you're too afraid to let go of the shore. That's kind of how I'm seeing it for you, Libras. So don't be scared. Um, move forward and... Uh, just believe in your journey. You may have to defend your stance to some people, but that's just because they don't get it, but they're not supposed to. It's not their journey. So, all right, Aquarius, let's see what's up with you guys. Past, present, future for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Friday and into the weekend. Okay, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Libras, or er, Aquarius, what's going on? Somebody's acting very immature. I'm really bringing some hurt down on you. That's the future energy of Aquarius. All right. 
right, bottom of the deck. There she is. That's who's bringing the hurt. The Queen of Rods, clarified by the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Swords in reverse. Your uh, long-term outcome is the Eight of Wands in reverse, followed by the Eight of Cups. All right. So you're moving on, moving forward, Aquarius. Uh, there is some, either you or somebody in your life is very upset at the moment, very uh, very mad, very angry, very short with you. Um, this could have been the result of you or them having uh, a, somebody, a third party, um, could be work. Their, their third party could be work, um, or they could have met a third party at work. But this is really causing somebody to be upset, whether this is you, Aquarius, or the person you're dealing with. Somebody is very upset after hearing about this um, third party or, you know, the third party energy. Uh, somebody is making some clear decisions. They're no longer keeping a blindfold on to the situation of what is going on. Um, and they're really, they're going to take action, but they're really pissed off doing it. Either that or that is you Aquarius, but the blindfolds coming off, no longer ignoring what has been going on. Why is the page of Pentacles here in the past for Aquarius? Yeah, and a ten of swords. Aquarius, unfortunately, I do feel that uh, you are the one that is finding out about this. If you are, it has already happened. So, if you don't know about this third party at work or, you know, through work or whatever, this isn't for you. But you're making a decision to leave this behind. You don't like being this insecure person. You don't like being this person that's constantly worried about what they're partners out doing or where they're at or who they're talking to. You don't like being that person, Aquarius. Um, so you are moving forward. Um, this person was acting very immature. Um, but in the past, you were staying in this broken marriage and this broken commitment because of children. Um, you knew this marriage was uh, going on the downhill slide or this long-term commitment, um, but you tried to stick it out. You tried to work on it. You tried to make it work for the kids. And you're just slowly seeing that that this is too much. You you really can't continue to be this insecure person because of what this third party created. In your current energy, you have the Ten of Swords clarified by the Empress in reverse. So you're very betrayed, very hurt, very just feel like they gave you the ultimate betrayal by putting you in this third party situation. You honestly did not know that there was somebody else. Um... You, you honestly did not know, and it's really, really tearing you apart. Um, for some of you, you could be uh, feeling this way because they are letting you know that they made a decision, that they are staying with their partner that they have children with, even though it's a broken relationship, and that's really pissing you off. Um, you're just feeling really beside yourself, really hurt, um, really angry. Because there were so many promises that have been broken. So many promises of what the two of you were going to create together. The two of you were going to be in this commitment forever together. And now they're just delivering this blow that, that they made the decision this third party can't keep going on. And it's really causing a lot of anger and a lot of frustration and a lot of hurt. In your future energy, you do have the two of pentacles in reverse. Clarified by the five of cups in reverse. So you're going to find balance again, even though it doesn't feel like it right now, Aquarius, even though it feels like your whole world is upside down, you are going to be able to find balance again, going with the good flow of, of the world, uh, no longer trying to fight what isn't or is happening. You're just really giving it up to the universe and allowing them to bring in and take away whatever it is that's going to bring you balance. Um, getting over this hurt, getting over this third party. And you're going to uh, start focusing on the two of cups left standing here and really um, working on yourself with the two of cups there and the two of pentacles here, finding that balance, that duality, um, letting go the hurt of the third party and really finding peace and balance. You're going to be able to um, achieve that because you are going to cut off communication with this person who hurt you or this person who hurt you cut off communication with you. And that's another reason why you're feeling backstabbed. But this, no matter which way it goes, communication is being cut off. Um, the bottom of the clarifying deck is the eight of 
uh, Pentacles as well. So you have two eights, but um, could be dealing with a Virgo, could be dealing with a Taurus or a fire sign. That's really all I see here. But no longer working on this connection, cutting off communication, no longer wanting to try to make this work. Oh, and look at that. The next one out, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. So most definitely not working on this connection anymore, cutting off communication, getting over that Ten of Swords, um, and truly walking away, leaving this energy in the past, no longer stressing and crying and losing sleep over it. Um, you are going to... Yeah, you're going to move into a space of healing. So Aquarius, it, it does look kind of bleak right now um, because you are just now going through this Ten of Swords energy, but it is going to get better and you are going to um, come into that balanced energy where you're not constantly wondering what that person's doing, where they're at, when they're leaving their person <coughs> and so on. All right, let's get a card for our Gemini. New love, Aqua or Libra. Whoa, and a bunch of them fly out there. Okay, that one I dropped. I think there was another one that flipped in there, but maybe not. Okay, and Aquarius. Okay. All right. So, Gemini, you guys have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So, you are really leaving that past behind, um, cl really closing the door to that healing process and getting yourself back out there. Somebody um, has sparked your interest. Somebody has um, really captured your attention and possibly your heart for a lot of you already. But um, really stirring up those romantic feelings, really making you feel like, well, maybe it's not so bad. Maybe losing that person isn't the end of the world. And um, realizing that, uh, you know, the, the ebb and flow of life, um, someone truly magical is coming in for you, Gemini. If you haven't met them already, you will in the next two months. Because this is an amazing connection for you. And it's really, really giving you a fresh and positive outlook for the future with this person. Libra, someone in the relationship is wearing a false mask. You have deception around you. Really be cautious of who you trust. Really be cautious of where you're putting your energy. Um, somebody in your life, if not uh, you, somebody close to you, is not telling you the whole truth, is not showing you who they really are. They could be kind of buffaloing you just to get what they want um, or flat out lying to you to try to get away with something. So make sure you are very careful about where you put your energy and who you're trusting your energy with. If if you are the one that is wearing the uh, the mask, it's time to take it off and be real, um, to be truthful with somebody in your space, um, because this is this has got a really heavy energy with this card. I haven't felt this way with this card in a very long time. So if somebody needs to come clean. Somebody needs to uh, to confront the issue because somebody is not telling the whole truth, either you or somebody you're dealing with, Libra. All right, Aquarius, you got two. Um, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you in new romance and flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So this is just going back to leaving that energy behind. Um, get yourself out there. Have fun. Flirt. Um, meet new people. Uh, because when you have fun, your energy just naturally rises. Your vibration gets higher. When you have a high vibration, you attract high vibration people back into you. So get out there, have fun, um, extend your lighthearted energy because it is only going to attract you in um, beautiful vibration people and stay optimistic because um, by being uh, staying positive and having faith, this lighthearted energy is going to bring you in new love. So leave that energy of that third party behind find balance, get yourself back out there, have a great time, and enjoy the new people that you are meeting because you are going to be drawing in some amazing people, Aquarius. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful weekend. I'll see you next time and God bless.